My name's uh, Ruth Ewan. I'm originally from Fife in Scotland. So we're in this place called Vestry House Museum in Walthamstone, Stoney, where I live, which was a workhouse. And it, it's also somewhere that holds a huge and really amazing image archive. My work takes a lot of different forms, sometimes installation, sometimes more sculptural work, um, sometimes printed matter. I've worked a lot with audio and with music. One thing that really characterises my work is that it, it involves quite a close period of uh, research, historic research. I go out and research in various locations and archives. That's how I think and I kind of think um, best when I'm out actually doing things. The idea of like being sort of locked in my own head in the studio is actually my idea of, of hell. <laughs> the sort of themes that I'm interested in can drawn towards uh, radical histories and what you'd maybe call like, overlooked histories and overlooked people, overlooked places as well. Things that aren't necessarily kind of lost but marginalised somehow through some mainstream narrative. A lot of the work that I've made in the last three or four years has responded to historic ideas of alternative perceptions of time, how we measure time, how we consider time, and whether time is something that is imposed or created through certain systems or whether that's something we create ourselves. I guess I'm not necessarily working with materials that you might think are traditional artist materials. I became interested in processes that involve other people and the exchange of ideas and the circulation of those ideas being that I'm interested in the idea of the sort of overlooked and, and the marginalised, then yeah, I think it's, it's essential that as, as long as, you know, that the art world, we like to think it's a very equal place that, that we're part of, but when you actually look at it very closely and you look at the art market and you look at um, the, the people out there, you know, the big dons of the art world, um, they are majority are men and I think you know until they're not then there needs to be prizes and exhibitions and curators who are championing women's work. Of course it's yeah it's lovely to be nominated for something like this. I think anything that recognises your work and um, you know it's, it's hard it's hard work being an artist and it can be precarious at times and Sometimes you need a little sort of pat on the back to know that, okay, somebody thinks this is all right. <laughs>